Hello, welcome to a new repair to see we have a Galaxy Z Flip 3 which has a defective screen and uh, we're gonna replace the screen we have to replace the housing because there are only service pack for Samsung so we have to also replace the whole housing and yeah let's see if we can open it up it's the first time I'm gonna open up a Z Flip 3 and yeah let's just start put it on the heating platform we get the back side so let's take a little bit of alcohol to soften the adhesive. I'm gonna start on the lower back, zoom a bit in, slide in there with a thin metal if we can. Then I'm gonna take a plastic tool because I don't want to scratch that cover. Slide carefully around. We're not going too deep, but we do not know what's underneath. Okay, I can already lift it up. bit more alcohol too much okay and the back side is open Good. Next part, we're going to heat it up again. Again, some alcohol. In again from the side. Carefully. One piece, I don't know. Suction cup. Okay, I don't know if this one piece, but as I could slide right next to it, maybe it's one piece. We'll see. Okay, here we have a flex cable. Zoom in a bit, a little bit more light. Okay, here we have a flex cable, so be careful that you not go too deep. Okay, flex cable is long enough, as you can see here. Good. Turn this over carefully. So that first two glasses went pretty well. As you can see, the top side is one with the screen. There's a tiny LCD on the back side, you may know that. Good. So then, let's start to open up some screws.
best take a screwdriver oops magnetic something magnetic is in here Not a magnet. Magnet. A metal shield. Let's lift that metal shield up. Okay. Let's go to the upper side. Not a metal shield. Two black screws. Lift that up too. Then a bigger shield. Also two screws. Then this may be the battery connector. It looks like we have two batteries in here. So let's disconnect those with some plastic tool. Yeah, it looks like a battery connector. Also this one. Good. Then let's get rid of that uh, LCD connector here. See if we can lift that up here. Yeah, plastic clip. Disconnect that CD. Good. Can I put this aside? Then another one, two, three, four, five, six screws. Put all of them out. Screws look like they're all in the same length. These two black ones are a bit different. And another magnet here would prevent me from getting the center of the screw to hold. Okay. Near the camera. One, two, three, 
three. So probably can take that plastic shield off. Again, plastic. Carefully. Yeah, we have some parts here. I don't know what this is. Does it belong to the oh that's to the speaker? So plus minus and then here to the board speaker connection. Good. What's next? Let's also take that black screw out. So we have three black screws, one here and oops, and I hurt myself. What happened? The more careful I am, the more I hurt myself. Oof. Good. Okay, next part. Um, let's see what's under that. That's probably for NFC or magnetic charging. to lift that up. Here we have some glue. Soften this up. That works. Seems a bit tricky. You don't want to come off, do you? Oh, you won't. Okay. You will. Good. So, let's just connect that. Okay. Uh, glue here. Good. Very nice. Side. So, the reconnector. Let's take that plastic back off. Another speaker. And a flex cable. Not a flex cable. I would always recommend pulling the FPC connectors up from the side. You do that in the middle somewhere or here then you may damage the connector so always try to lift it up from sideways always works best <coughs> good uh, then is that also a connector let's see if we can lift that up Okay. Maybe it's time to take that charging port out. Another screw here. Are we recording? Yes. Good. We have sound. Yes. from layer 2 
Oh, we also have to heat this up to get it out. Flex cables here. Who knows where they're all going? Good. This flex is coming over here and going back there. I don't know what it does, but um, let's just disconnect that if we can. Charging port. A fat golden microphone. Good. Then let's go over here. Try not to heat up the battery too much. It's just 140 degrees, so. Good. So that is also off. It doesn't look like we can disconnect that. There we have some plastic. Looks like it's all glued in. Whoever knows where this is going. Maybe that's the cable that goes inside of the ending part well they're definitely glued in so good i'm gonna put some alcohol here on the battery so we can soften that up a little bit bending this over just a little bit It is here. Get some alcohol. Where on the side? Also, this battery a little bit. Nothing that can happen here or destroy it by alcohol. We have OLED screens, but the screen is faulty anyway, so I don't know if, it's a, uh, if there would be a way to just replace the display. We can look a little bit deep deeper afterwards, but yeah. We have our service pack here, so as you can see, all those connectors here are gonna stay because they're glued in and they're probably going through that hinge special kind of hinge i don't know if anyone has ever looked inside what's in there good so let's try to lift out that first battery not easy No. Nah. Maybe we have to heat it up a little bit more. I don't want to bend the battery too much. Good. Plastic prime, plastic prime tools. Not enough space here to get underneath. Really, Thank you. 
Okay. Let's take the battery out. Good. Two thousand three hundred seventy. It's quite a compact battery. I put it aside. Good. Then let's go over to the top side here. Start to do stuff here. Here we have again some kind of plastic protection. I'm gonna heat it up, but I'm not gonna heat the cameras up. So let's just put the plastic here. Just a protective piece of tape. Again, connectors. Also bend that over. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, now we gotta sneak in here somewhere. If we can. Careful of that connector here. Okay. Not a battery loose. It's too small, can't read it. No, too small. So all the batteries are out. Now we need to take the board out, I guess. Oh, something important. Where is the SIM tray? Don't forget the SIM tray. So um doesn't seem like there are any screws left so we may be able now to lift the board up from somewhere safe let's have a quick look on the microscope get a detailed look Yeah. Also a sandwich board, you can see. Everything looks nice. The quality board. So now we need a good way to get underneath. 
front side will not be because the grounding pads are going or is that a good place maybe here we have a glued in camera get that disconnected let's see if we can just start from the upside here maybe yeah works good very easy i can just lift that up and we have this nice little board here Good. So, what else do we need? The camera, maybe? So let's take out the camera and the speaker. Going again under the microscope make everything, makes everything a little bit easier. And I'm going to use a little bit hot air to soften the glue around the camera. Just a little bit, not too much. a good place to go underneath wherever that may be okay. Not too easy. So we cut the. Let's try to cut a little bit inside. Careful not to slip, damage anything, or hurt yourself. So I'm cutting away from here, away from the camera, and also here on the front. Good. Make it warm again a little bit. Not too much. Everything here is too big. Okay, thing up. Oh, let go. Glue is actually very soft, kind of like a. So we have made a tiny little bending here on the plastic, but everything is fixed here so just a little bit of plastic good put it aside on a safe place so now the speaker also gonna make this hot just a tiny little bit
With speakers, you have to be careful not to pull them apart. So we have the whole piece, yes. Sometimes you can just split them apart and you may damage the wires. Which are wrapped around like a coil at the speaker around the speaker magnets good speakers also out here we have the magnets also glued in not a magnet not a magnet yes. That is the flashlight protection, I think. Oh, that's the wrong side. Must be some kind of sensor here. Which looks through the screen. I don't know. Good. We have here some power button. Maybe we have a fingerprint sensor in here. I don't know. Let's get that out too. Hope we can. Heat that up also a little bit. Nothing can happen here. Just using 140C. Interesting. Can we get that out like that? On. Okay, be careful. There's some flex in the flex. Okay, the whole button comes out on the inside. So be careful when pulling at it. You may rip that connector off. And then you may cry. I don't know if there is a fingerprint sensor. We have quite some connectors here, so... There's probably more in it than just a normal switch. Yeah, everything is good, fine. And good. Put it aside, and we have another connector here, which is the volume button, volume buttons. Also heat that up a little bit, heat is your friend, makes the stuff a lot easier. A bit too sharp here. Go with the plastic. No, can't lift it up. <clears throat> okay, some very thin tweezers. Push that up here somewhere. 
Here we have something we maybe have to push inside. Mm -hmm. Plastic frame. Good. I hope I can remember all of this. And now we should be able to just slide that out. Yes, everything is fine. It's just a bit of adhesive. So, volume buttons with some piece of silicon. Some water protection, probably. The button itself. Push that out. Should be. No. Just push it out. And we have a hardware key. Good. So, what else? I'm not going to take the magnets out because there's no point in doing so. As you can see here, that is all glued in. This moves over from the hinge then to here. So there's nothing more we can disassemble. I mean, we could try, but what's the point? I don't know. Let's get out the vibration, the vibrator. Most of the time the vibrators have a little spot like here where you can sneak underneath to lift it up just like this. And take it out. Adhesive. I don't know if we need that. Just I'm gonna leave it here. So that's pretty much everything. Take out. It would be interesting if we try to go further. I think the next thing here would be the screen itself. Um, yeah. Screen connector is probably this here, and the connection from the charger goes also through. And then, you know, like most of phones have two or one cables one is from the charging dock, one from the screen, and some signals here, probably for GPS or. Signal, broadband signal, stuff, antennas, yeah, that's it, that's a kind of an antenna cable. Can be wrong, but I think it is. And yeah, I don't know what this is here. We have here, there's also some kind of sensor, maybe a lit sensor. Let's have a closer look here. I think that's uh, can be. I don't know. Can that be a lit sensor? I do not know. But it's on the flex here. Could be. I think that lit sensor stuff is all here near the magnets and stuff. Maybe it is that. I do not know what it is. Maybe that's also for a signal. Who knows? Good. Um, yeah. 
What's the next step? Could take out the screen, uh, but I'm gonna leave that for a while. That's nothing I wanna do now. Maybe I'm gonna make a video. Uh, this part is gonna stay here. Um, and I'm gonna keep that for testing. The problem with the screen is that, uh, you know, that flipping, the screen always turns off. It doesn't matter if the screen is up or closed, but there was an issue here inside. So I'm not sure if it has something to do with that FPC connectors. Yeah, we'll see. So that's for the time of now disassembled and we're going to put that aside. Now we're going to start to assemble the phone again. So our new part. A lot of silicon plastic to keep this protected. This part costs 300 euros without fat. So that you can just not just replace screen only. Mm, yeah. Well, here I have something which I forgot. Is this going? That, that may be the screen itself. Hmm, interesting. Makes everything a bit different. So, this is really just a connection from screen to board, as we know often Samsung has, and then from daughter PCB to the main PCB. Hmm. It's interesting that they make that here. Um, maybe a different design would be interesting if, well, I don't know, if you just have one battery here to move the cable over. There's pretty much cables in here. I don't know how the inside looks here. Yeah. So, I want to make keep this all clean. I'm going to leave this in here. I don't want to scratch or damage anything. Do I? I don't think so. Good. So, speaker is already in. Um, Power button is in, volume button is in, vibrator is missing and also has no adhesive. So I'm going to take the adhesive out. I'm going to reuse that. Just give me a second. Just pulling that out quick. Back here. One. Lay down inside. Good. A little bit of schmutz here. I can live with that. That's not an organic, that's not a human. If it would be a human, you probably have to clean that here. Yeah. It was way a different environment and a different story. Okay, put the vibrator back. The buzzer, or if you want to call it the buzzer. So, this has to come like this is split into two pieces. Interesting, makes everything more complicated. Mm, good. I'm gonna first start with the battery. Put some new adhesive on that. Ok, 
can rub the old one off. Very simple. Good. Yeah, easy. of that should do so very strong be enough so which direction I do not remember yes I do comes like this and this is going to connect here so we have to go behind all of that slide in here good back can connect the battery because no I think we're gonna do that at last don't need that now so then one by each other so we have to be sure not to forget all that important stuff let's start with the charging dock Should come in easy, but it isn't. Is that the wrong side? Oh, almost forgot to connect the back connector here. Sure, it is well connected. Then it comes here. Okay. Goes in. Very easy. Then we had one screw to put back. Which one it was? can't remember I think what this one wasn't it we can check that yeah as we can see here only one screw hole for the left side here good so a CD connector Antenna or whatever it is, also connected. Then we may have some metal shields, as I can remember in the back of my mind. Oh, already forgot. I already forgot. So this one was on top, this one was black one was on the side from power button which we do not need anymore. And we only have this one 
And this one was here. Good. So that should be finished here on the bottom. Button, bottom. Let's put that back in. Without too much force. I'm just going to put two screws in just to keep it in place. And the magnet. So I'm going to take my tweezers to hold it in place. This. Sure, it is nice flat without too much pressure. So, two screws to secure everything here. So, one connector is missing. Did we forget something? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm sure one of those. I'm sure this one also wants to be connected in some kind of way. What is it? Who are you? No hints here. No. Ah, what was it? What was it? Hmm. It's a no connection. Yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. Did I hide some thing? Oh, I remember. R. NSC or wireless charging. That's the missing link. Good. Let's connect that. Okay, it doesn't hold. Let's put some stuff here. Put a little bit of adhesive here. Or we can, can we? That doesn't stick anymore. I think that's too thick. Let's take the original one off. No, way too thin. Okay, doesn't have to really stick, does it? Or maybe, I don't know. Jesus. Too much questions here. One coming here. It's coming here. So satisfied now, I hope. I want to make it really nice for the first time. Not because we're just on camera. I want everything to be good and working. If I turn it on and then some shit won't work, then I'm gonna go insane anyway. But for now, let's just be positive. So, now we're gonna connect the battery here.
on. Everything is in place. So now we have our shield here. Also coming back. This. Another two screws. Holding place. Good. Clean. So let's move up to the top. Mm. First, we're going to put the board in, but first, we're going to release that camera hole. And nothing else here. Now, let's take the board. It's like a glove. Good. So, camera. We may add some glue afterwards, but not now. First, we have to test this whole assembly to be sure everything is working as it should. Good. Um, one important thing I forgot is... Oh. Connect that. Put the battery in here. Um, we have connected the battery. So if we slip, we may create a short. And just for safety reason, I'm gonna disassemble it or disconnect the battery because I do not want to create a short. If there are any issues, we are gonna bite ourselves in the, in the butt. I mean, if you've done it a lot of time and you're good at connecting, then there shouldn't be an issue, but let's just go for safety. So I'm gonna turn this around. Um, yeah, battery first, put some adhesive on, the back side, good. Peel it off. Good. Then the right position. Right position is here. And this is going to connect to this black connector. We have some schmutz already. Move that in. Good. Good. Now we can connect those connectors. No battery is connected. Click. Click. Careful. Another click. And that antenna or what it is. Click. Here's another, that's the other LCD. Um, should we do this already? No, we can make that at last because we have a hole here, so. Good. Um, yeah, now we have this nice protective here, which we can put back in place, maybe. Ok, 
kind of, well, kind of, I'm okay with that, good, then we have our shield, which has to come after, because we have to first connect the battery, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean that up, we are going to use the adhes adhesive because it's good. It's clean and it's good. Just to have to take a clean tool to bring it back in position. This is gonna stick like hell, believe me. Especially this Samsung adhesive is very, very good. Just be sure nothing is inside. If it's dirty or dusty, I would recommend replacing it, but this is a very clean phone. We didn't have any major scratches or drops. This phone was never dropped. It's in a clean environment. Good. So now let's connect the screen. We can kinda tricky is it. No not really. Just like this. Oh, the plastic cover has to first come on. Let's secure that with one or two or three screws just to keep it in place again. Here, one here, yeah, fair enough. And here. Good. So let's connect that. Secondly, secondary LCD. Nice. We can leave that here. Also, the plastic back. There's an arrow, arrow on it. Good, make sure it sits flat. <coughs> so everything is connected, so now we can connect all batteries. Yeah, yeah, I think so. What else do we forget? We have our power buttons, volume buttons, it's already here. Sim tray, speaker, also already here. Yeah, nothing else laying around. Good. So. Battery number one. And battery number two. Whoops. Not magnetic, okay. Good. Then another shield. Which comes this
Got the two screws. Also not magnetic, interesting. Good. So I think now it's testing time. I'm gonna leave the cover on the bottom out. Just gonna bend this over. Not putting any pressure on. Let's put, take that out of that protective silicone thing. So turn it on. And we we're able to turn it on. That's something. And we also have the back LCD here. All kind of hmm, doesn't. I hope we're able to start up. Nice. I have some personal background, so I have to be careful. Come on, boot. Seems like it's taking a while. Optimizing apps, one UI. Let's put the symmetry back. I'm confident everything will work fine. Okay, now we have a personal background. I can show you that. It's a bit tricky for me to show you, but let me just try to. Close it. Yeah, screen goes off. Yep, screen comes on. Screen goes off. Okay. So we have this kind of background. Okay, close it again. Screen on, as you can see. Screen goes off, yeah. Open. Close. Open. Back door. Screen in the background. On, off, on, off, on. Hold on, yes. Volume. Also works. Good. We're going to turn it back off again. We have a little time. It's a little bit Again, good. Everything works fine as it seems. So let's get that back off. I don't know. It seems a bit bended. Okay. Um, afterwards, when everything is closed up, we're going to make it hot on the heating platform, 75 degrees, for two minutes, I don't know. And then we're going to press it with clamps, and we're going to leave it there for at least 24 hours. So everything should be fine. No worries. We're going to clean the edges with alcohol to not have any fatty fingerprints on it to make sure everything holds as good as possible. Good. So everything works, test did work, so we can uh, put all screws back if we can. We lost the magnetic on the screws. So all screws are the same length except the black ones. But they're just a little bit thinner, but we only have three of them. One at the bottom here, and these two was all which was were already here.
Come on. So this display, uh, even if we didn't dismantle it completely, it's a lot of work, I think. I mean, I'm making a video. The video is running now one hour and 14 minutes from the beginning. Um, yeah, but I think without any talking, talking, pure good. Not taking out the display itself. Gonna take ages. I mean, it's a, it's a very expensive, so it would be worth if you just get the screen on itself. That would be cool. Uh, but you're not getting any screens, screens now, so you're not getting it from Samsung and you will not get because Samsung always sells the housing with the screen, which is very sad because that lifts up the price very extremely. So where is the missing screw? Here? No, 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 yes. Make sure we haven't forgotten any screws. Screws. Everything is tight. And also everything sits nice and flush. Nothing that lifts up. It shouldn't. That is interesting here. That's something I do not like. You get a push on this side. Then because of that metal um, stage here there is a possibility you break this cable and if you break that cable then you have big problems it would be nice if that would be you know a little bit lower just to leave a little bit space to the fpc flex but yeah good that's how it is so cleaning a new cotton bud, a little bit of alcohol, get rid of all our fingerprints, good, so cover number one. Not sit very flush here, does it? The FPC connectors are lifting, pushing against it a little bit. So that's already said what I do not like about it, but we're gonna heat it up as I said and press it. And yeah. A tiny little bit of mats. Everything is nice and flat. Good. Wiggle it around. And that's it. Clean it. A little
close it up and we're finished so that was a little bit of a disassembly on a galaxy z flip 3 um i hope it was interesting for me it was kind of and yeah if i find the time i'm going to take out that lcd but i'm not doing this now but maybe in another video so thank you for watching and uh, yeah see you the next time goodbye